Okay, so, and go. Okay, so we are going to talk about Kubernetes vulnerability scanning. Okay, we are scanning images in Kubernetes and because we are taught to do so and most of the security engineers, you know, feeling this way, okay? They're getting overwhelmed with the results, okay? We are getting for, you know, the latest uh, Elasticsearch, okay, uh, image, official image, you will get like more than 50 or not around 100 vulnerabilities. So, okay, the question is whether in Kubernetes, whether we can leverage Kubernetes to make it this whole thing more efficient, okay? And I will tell you why it is more efficient. So how vulnerability scanning is working, okay? Actually, there is the scanner who creates uh, an SBOM using the container image. Uh, it lists all the packages, then goes to all the publicly available vulnerability databases, uh, cross-checks, okay, uh, uh, the packages for vulnerabilities and creates this overwhelming list, okay? Now, it's bad, okay, it's bad because it's very, very hard to maintain, very, very hard to decide, okay, which vulnerabilities are really vulnerable and can be exploited inside the container because there are simply, there are a lot of packages which are not in use inside the container and not running, therefore they are not exploitable. There are other kinds of vulnerabilities which cannot be exploited because they are, the program flow doesn't touch them. And there are other questions, okay, that these lists doesn't have obviously zero days uh, are, are not listed here. Usually our own code is not listed here. So there are a lot of problems here. And now the question is, okay, what can we do, okay? So bro, we're using eBPF, okay? What do we do? The containers are running inside Kubernetes, okay? We're uh, enabling eBPF and streaming data from eBPF to see the system calls of exec and open, okay? These two system calls enable us to see well which program files are loaded into the memory, okay? Uh, crossing them together with the SBOM, right? The SBOM lists you all the packages you have inside the container, okay? And not just the package names, but also which files are making them. So if we are crossing these two information of which files in use inside the container together with the full SBOM, it turns out we can create a filtered SBOM. It says, that it, it causes us to create a shorter one, and if we feed it to the vulnerability scanner, as it turns out, okay, we'll get much less uh, image vulnerabilities. So therefore, in the Cubescape project, we have released yesterday uh, a POC, okay, which you can run for yourself, which actually built upon the Falco-based libraries, uh, and actually, uh, as a daemon set, okay, it looks into all the pods which are starting, all the containers, which files they are touching. It records all those uh, uh, events, uh, then scan creates the SBOM, filters the SBOM, and creates a vulnerability result, okay, based on that, and post it to the cluster, to the API server, as uh, uh, custom resources. And it turns out, okay, and this is hot from the oven, Okay, there is, this is a scan summary of NGNX image. Uh, you can see that it has a few vulnerabilities, okay, if I'm scanning it uh, simply, okay? I have nearly 400 vulnerabilities, and it turns out that I've detected that only four of them are in the memory. Now, obviously I'm cheating here, okay guys, I'm telling you, but because because this Nginx is not really running in the sense that it is not configured to do TLS and stuff like that. But even if you think about, think about, okay, that I'm lo loading libssl and all these uh, modules of Nginx, it will turn out to be a much smaller number than this 400. So it is awesome, okay, because it can create, you know, uh, uh, you know, it can return uh, the force to the right place, okay, and we as security, sometimes security engineers can be less overwhelmed with all these vulnerabilities simply by using some EPPF magic and Kubernetes to automate. So, um, this is in the Cubescape project, okay, this is a new uh, uh, Git repo. You're welcome to scan, follow it, okay, we'll release every week a new update, okay, and we'll be really, really happy to get feedback on how you would like to use uh, this feature. And, yeah, wait a second, I have 10 seconds. <laughs>